All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you guys can clear 16-10. And as you guys can see on the screen, we have some different cookies here. Don't worry, this is not going to be the team. But this is actually going to be the cookies that are all able to remove the shield that this particular enemy, the rattling clockwork mouse, is able to generate. So this particular enemy is actually going to be continuously regenerating HP shield, the blue shield, whenever it attacks our cookies. All right, so that's the reason why it is almost impossible to beat because you will run out of time if you do not have any shield breakers. All right, so in particular, these cookies right here, these five cookies are all going to be different options to remove the HP shield and allow your cookies to attack this mouse and kill it. All right, so of course, uh, there are better options than the others. However, all of these are going to work. But let me show you guys kind of like the team that I would personally recommend. So let's go into the setup here, guys, and let's uh, start talking about it. All right. So the main three, all right, are going to be like this. Or if you guys don't have Hollowberry, Walberry is going to be a great alternative. All right. So something like this is going to be very, very standard. Of course, if you don't have Moonlight, just use any of your other DPSs like, uh, you know, Black Pearl as well as Sherbet. You can also use Espresso. Uh, you know, it really doesn't matter. But this is going to be kind of like the basic setup. Um, of course, uh, we don't need to have this. Uh, this is not going to be the main thing here. But let's see. This is going to be your main setup here, guys. And then uh, what you guys can do is you can put in Clotted Cream and another healer. Or you can put an Alfagato and another healer, alright? Or you can put a Dog Cow and uh, you can put another healer in here, alright? Or you can put in a Twizzly and another healer. So it really doesn't matter what you guys go with. But just keep in mind that the enemies do explode at the end when they do die. So your frontline tank needs to be really, really tanky and have to have a good amount of damage resist just because of the fact that this is dark mode. Uh, you know the power is definitely going to be higher than the story mode so all of these strats also work for the story mode as well it's a lot easier on story mode so for dark account dark account has a zap effect which is going to nullify hp shield for nine seconds this is going to be the same thing for uh twizzly as well twizzly also does have the zap but instead of nine seconds it's only going to be for seven seconds this is how i beat 16-10 on my no cookie gotcha account with twizzly Alfagato has a curse whenever uh, you know Alfagato curses it's gonna dispel all of the buffs uh, including the HP shield as well so Alfagato works Clotted Cream also does work any enemy that get that gets hits by the Lice Cage is gonna have their buffs removed and also going to have that time where they are in the cage so definitely Clotted Cream is another option I would say the weakest option out of the five here is going to be Crunchy Chip because of the fact that Crunchy Chip needs to auto attack in order to remove the buff from the uh you know mouse and it is going to be through the claw effect or the claw mark however it's only going to really remove it like one time and any time that the mouse attacks it's going to regenerate it and you're going to have to wait again for the claw mark to activate again so the real way to do this is to have a really really good dps have clotted cream get rid of that shield try to use your skill and then combo it up with this uh, particular treasure the priestess cookies paper charm and then you should be able to beat it but i do recommend you use someone like twizzly someone like dark cacao someone like clotted cream as well as alfagato to beat this particular stage all right guys so before i get into the battle i just want to talk to you guys quickly about the toppings that i would use for each of these cookies solid almond for dark cacao solid almond for crunchy chip uh, for clotted cream, I'll use something like a uh, full-on swift chocolate or full-on cinnamon raspberry. It depends on what you guys are focusing on. Twizzly will be full-on juicy apple jelly or full-on swift chocolate is fine too. You're really using Twizzly only for that zap effect. And then for avocado as well, full-on cinnamon raspberry or full-on swift chocolate will work. But here we go, guys. I'm not going to put any toppings on Twizzly and Alfagata just for the sake of uh, testing. So here we go. So you're going to see that these, uh, you know, these particular dolls are going to be exploding at the end when they do die. So it's important for you guys to have your frontline once again. All right. Pretty tanky so that they are able to survive and even your middle lane as well. And here we go. We're getting into the boss now or the uh, mouse section. And also pure vanilla once again like always is going to be very very important 
in order for you guys to go and, you know, uh, alleviate the injury and uh, all that stuff. So as you guys can see, every single one of the uh, skills that we are using uh, from Dark Cow, Clotted Cream, Alfagato, Twizzly, is preventing that mouse from generating the HP shield. And we are able to beat this. Dark Cow almost did die right there. But just like that, you know, all four, all five of those particular cookies are going to be able to get rid of HP shield. But once again, these four are going to be the better options. So just bringing one of them inside of your team is going to work all right so just want to kind of quickly show you guys that it is going to work but once again if i was to actually play this stage on my main account this is the kind of team that i would go with again dog cow is going to be the replaceable one with any of those cookies who are going to be able to remove the shield and then for the rest of the cookies it really just depends tank dps and the support and healer all right hope you guys found the video helpful good luck with 16-10 it's pretty simple once you guys do understand which cookies are able to get rid of the HP shield. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all on the next one.